Good evening, everybody. Ron Wasik here, the Polish Pickle. I'm down in my man cave, preparing for my trip. Decided to make a real quick one today. I didn't uh, do an after the trip on my last one. Uh, it was a good hike. We um, did a real comfortable stay. Had a little problem with uh, two guys looking for water. The spring was so far downhill that it was almost dangerous to go. So we had to make our water last. Well, it rained so hard that we were able to get water off the sides of the tents and uh, off, the, off the ponchos we were wearing. We made little puddles in the bottom and poured them into a glass and then filtered them to make them clean. But uh, that's why we called it the Rangers. Yeah, R-A-I-N-G-E-R-S, Rangers. You saw my last uh, complete hike. Well, this is after the hike. I uh, stopped at Cabela's, very happy with that store. There's a guy up in the camping department named Jeff. Give you the shirt off his back. Go up and visit him, really a nice guy. And tell him Ron sent you from the volunteers out at Blue Marsh. He'll know exactly who you're talking about. Him and I have worked together a couple times. In fact, you saw him on one of my previous short hikes out at Blue Marsh. All right, moving on, I bought a map of the Appalachian Trail, section Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, I want to show you where I'm going from, too, this time. I'll try to get this close enough that you can see it. And maybe you can't, but from this finger to this finger, that would be the Hamburg watershed, which is right here, the water, the wet reservoir. And that's known as, that's also at the Windsor Furnace Shelter, for those of you through hikers that have been through here. And I'll be hiking down to Port Clinton right here on Route 61 and getting picked up there. Very, very happy with this. The map itself also has distances between the areas that you're marching, <laughs> hiking. There I am back in the military again. And uh, lets you know about how many miles it is. Uh, yeah, you can use a ruler. They've got a mileage marker on the bottom. But that trail turns and winds so much. Uh, besides, you got to add going down to the springs. you got to add walking to the shelters. Uh, I do believe I am going to be staying at Pocahontas campsite, which is about six, not quite six miles, five, 5.2 miles from where I'm going to get dropped off. Then I'll only have uh, about two and a half to three miles till I hit Port Clinton. The whole thing seems to be about eight, and according to them, it's 8.6 from where I'm going, from where I'm getting dropped off to where I'm going. I've got the rucksack ready, and right here it is. Got it packed. A little on the heavy side. It's probably around 37 pounds again. But being that I'm going with myself and nobody else right now, uh, I put out a request uh, about three times now on Facebook to see if I could get a companion to go with me. No luck. If anybody's interested, we'll have transportation to the reservoir. Well, we got to walk up the mountain a little bit, but. We'll have transportation to the reservoir, and then they'll pick us up at Fort Clinton to take me back to my vehicle so I can take either the person home that's going with me, or we can leave both our vehicles right there with my friend in Hamburg. All right, that's after the hike. That's before the hike. I really would like to have somebody go with me. Looks to be a fun time. Oh, and geocaching. There's two geocaches along the way. I intend on getting them. They're fun for me. And not a lot of people get a chance to hike the Appalachian Trail just to do geocaching. So I'm probably one of the few, but I got to tell you, I enjoy it. I found one today that was a three and a half to a four difficulty. Uh, the walk to it and back wasn't bad. It was about a two, but uh, it's it, it can't be listed as a one, even though it's on trails because you have to bushwhack a little bit. I'm saying probably 16 feet into the woods, a little, but it's not real bad. 
So I got a heart. I got the hardest one today that I've ever gotten. I think Gerhard Stat was the owner of it. It's up in Spring Township, and it was my fourth hunt for that geocache till I finally found it. I did take a friend up on Sunday afternoon. We couldn't find it together, but I didn't want to give up. We do have a meeting coming up the third Wednesday of the 11th year. It'll be on Penn Avenue, right next to the West Reading Diner, and I think it's Giannotti's. I'm not positive of the name. But uh, we meet there for supper, we discuss our caches and our hides and our finds, where we were and how we're doing. So you're invited, if you're interested in geocaching, come on down to the meeting. It usually starts right around 5, 5.30. Doesn't matter if you get there at 6 or 6.30 or 7 o'clock, we're still going to have people there. We'll still be talking about geocaching. So you all are invited. Stop down. I'd like to see you and meet you. And uh, that's about it for today. It's a short one. I thank you. Think about going along. It's a fun trip. Oh, the dates. Right now, looking at the weather, <laughs> I don't want to do that Rangers bit again, but looking at the weather, I think I'm going to go 9, 10, 11 September. Possibly stay two nights this time instead of just one. Even though it's only eight miles, the camping part of it also is fun for me. So if somebody wants to go and they can't do three days, we can do it too. September 9, 10, 11. That's next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Stay strong. Patient. And trust your journey. Thank you very much.